Hey guys, welcome back to another video with Straight Outta Content brought to you by Flash Custom Transfers. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create a gang sheet using some pretty cool images. If you guys don't know, I'm a huge fan of Stranger Things. So I'm gonna show you guys how to create a gang sheet so that you can print your DTF transfers with us. So I'm gonna use some really cool images that our, our in-house graphic designer was able to take the Stranger Things theme and then create some Flash Custom Transfers logos with it and some Straight Outta Content logos with it. Maybe we will actually put it on a shirt and sell that shirt, but let us know in the comments down below if you guys want some Stranger Things inspired uh, Flash Custom Transfers merch or Straight Outta Content merch. So let's go ahead, let's get into the video. So as you guys can see right here, I already have a gang sheet and we're gonna actually create this gang sheet um, to, to print out our images. So if you guys don't know, if this is your first time tuning in, Flash Custom Transfers, we provide DTF gang sheets. We use AI, a software where you can create that 22, there's 22 width and uh, 24 height gang sheet so that you can put all different types of images on there and you're gonna get a quality DTF transfer. So if it's your first time tuning in, make sure you go through all of our other videos and check all our other content out. So as you guys can, if you do not know, I actually created this gang sheet right here uh, for my daughter and I, and we rocked this to the uh, official Stranger Things store in Dallas. So let's go ahead and let's create a brand new gang sheet uh, with some new images that we just had done by our graphics designer, Marianne. And we want to do that. So we want to start, we want to go ahead, we want to go over to uh, new. We're going to hit new and then we're going to hit custom. So if you don't, I'm going to go ahead and pause this. Uh, we do have a full detail video on how to do this, but go ahead and pause this right here and look at all of these dimensions and inches because this is what you need whenever creating a gang sheet on your end to send to us to print, okay? So sometimes people do this 24 and do this 22, no. Width needs to be 22, height needs to be 24 in inches, one artboard, orientation, vertical. These need to just be zero, CMYK color in high 300 DPI. So you're gonna go ahead and create. Boom, now we have our blank gang sheet. Whatever you add on to here and send to us is what we are going to print. So if it fits, it prints. Remember, our sheets are only $19.99. So the proper way to add your first image is not to drag and drop. Doing that, it's actually going to mess up the resolution. So if you are, to, in today's video, we're actually working with vectored images. If you do not have a vectored image, we can vector that. That price starts at around 10 bucks, but there's also other ways in which you can enhance the images and stuff like that. Just email us if you have any questions, if you don't have a vectored image, but you need to get the artwork done as uh, soon as possible, just go ahead, as soon as possible, just go ahead and email us and we can knock that out for you. We offer a tremendous amount of digital graphic designing uh, services. So please don't think that we're just a company that sells DTF. No, we have done plenty of graphic design work for a lot of people out there. So we don't want you to think that you have to purchase a DTF product from us in order to get your image brought to life. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna click file, we're gonna hit open. So once we hit open, Sorry, it's gonna take a while. Once we open, we're gonna select our image. Again, remember, do not drag and drop. You want to hit open to do that, uh, to bring your image onto the artboard. I'm gonna go with straight out of content. We're just gonna start right out the gate with straight out of content. This beautiful image right here. I think this will look really good on a shirt, so we're gonna bring that in. Now, whenever we bring that in, it's gonna actually open it in a separate um, in a separate tab, which is fine. That's It's gonna allow us to work with that pretty well. So we're gonna kind of zoom out there a bit. And as you can see, everything here, any I can adjust anything here, every little tiny piece, this whole thing is vectored. Um, so we're gonna click it. Now that we have it selected, we're gonna bring it onto our artboard. So like I said, once again, everything here, you can edit, but we don't want to, it's perfect, it came in perfect. So we're gonna click it, we're gonna drag it into our page and drag and drop, boom. So from here, it's pretty big. Right now it's at 13 by 12. That's a really big image. I'm a big guy. I don't think I would wear an image that big. I could get away with it, but not really on a hoodie because of the pocket, but on a t-shirt for a, a guy 6'4", it's a pretty big image. But we're gonna kind of size that down. We're gonna bring that to probably around like a nine. Uh, let's see, if we hit the, the link, it'll size it perfectly for us. So if I do eight, and uh, Let's do eight by five. Nah, that's a little messed up. Let's bring this back. Let's do 10. 10 by 6.5. Eh. 
I don't really like that. Let's do, uh, I like the 10. 10 wide is good. Let's do seven. Okay, let's do 10. Ah, there we go. 10 by 10, that's perfect. It's a little smaller, but it's still pretty big size, uh, but not, you know, overbearing on the chest. So that's, that's our first logo. So let's go ahead and let's, remember, we want to gang this sheet out, right? We want to maximize our space. So as you can see, we have 22 at the top, uh, 24 going down. Again, guys, you can use this with vectored images and non-vectored images. If you have a non-vectored image, if we go ahead and select this image and zoom in, we're not going to see any pixels, any pixelization anywhere. Nowhere on earth are we going to see any. Let's go ahead and click off. We're not going to see any pixels. These are super crisp, straight lines. You know, you, you want this whenever you're zoomed in 300 because this is what the printer is going to print to. So that's why we always suggest that you vector, but you're not obligated to vector uh, all of your images. If you just want to just create something for like a quick birthday party and you were able to download the image from Etsy or something like that, and it's an SVG or it's a pretty high quality PNG, great, go ahead. You, you, we are not here to upsell you to do that. Uh, we just suggest that you do it so that it comes out at its highest quality, especially with these little gray lines in here. The printer is actually going to print all of that uh, smoke behind the straight of the content, and you want that to be seen on your image. So now we're going to go ahead, we're going to open up the second image. And I think I'm going to go with the stranger, uh, with the flash custom transfers, just the outline. Like I said, I, these are my two favorites, this one right here and this one right here. But so we got one right here. We're going to go over to this one. We're going to open this. It's going to open in a second folder. Now, as you guys can see, the for the experts out there like myself, the second I open this, I see this right here. And you do not want that dragged over. If I click this, it might drag it over in there. So let's just go ahead and get rid of that. And these are just a small details that if you're creating your own gang sheet, we ask that you pay attention to because we're going to we're going to edit it and we're going to do our best that we can to lay it out for you. But if you send us a gang sheet already locked and loaded, ready to go, we're still going to send you a proof back. You're still going to sign your service agreement. But if there's a dot on a gang sheet that you sent us that was missed, again, we're not editing that gang sheet. Our job, if, if you send it to us and we print it, um, if you send it to us to print ready to go, then things like this can get missed. And then it's not it's not our fault because you sent it to us like this telling us, hey, listen, I, I checked the proof. Thank you for sending it to us. Go ahead and print. So let's go ahead and delete that. And we're going to take this image right here, which is already transparent. And we're going to bring it right here, drop it right here. So this is a six by four. I think this will go pretty good on a little, on my daughter's t-shirt, six by four. That's, that's perfect. I actually like the size that that is. This right here, this is for pops. This is for me, 10 by 10. This is a six by four. And we're going to bring in the last image, a straight of the content image, like I said. It's really one of my favorite ones on here. It's very simple. And uh, the same thing, same concept. You're just going to click it. And you're going to drag it. Oh, click it. And we're going to drag it over to the artboard and drop it. Okay, so this one is a little bigger. And this one is an 8 by 4 We're going to go ahead and clean that up and make it a true 8 by 4 Okay, uh, by 5 Let's make it 8 by 5 Yeah, that's perfect. We actually locked that in. So, so now we have a, a six by four ish, and a, and then we have pops eight by five. And maybe Lou might want one. So if we wanna, if we wanna duplicate this. Now that we have our gang sheet, we have our three images that we want. We don't want any other images. We want these three images on the sheet, but we want maybe we want one small on the left chest, a straight of the content. So this is how you do that. You're gonna click that image. And then there's multiple ways to, to copy. You can either hit edit, copy. Um, if you're on a Mac, it's gonna be Command C. If you're on a Windows, I think it's Control C. But we're gonna go ahead and I'll just do the simple ways that you guys can see it. We're gonna hit uh, edit, copy, and then edit, paste. Boom. So now we have this other image over here that we can also adjust. So say we just want like a front left pocket. That's going to be what? Like a, a three, three by one and a half. Okay, so automatically did it. And sometimes I like to use the automatic. So it's a three width, one and a half, you know, I mean, uh, 1.8 height, which is a really good 
uh, left chest pocket. So we can left chest image. Um, if we wanted to go even smaller for like a neck tag, we could do that as well. So we're gonna hit uh, file edit. I mean, edit copy <laughs> and then edit paste. And since we're uh, copying the smaller one, this is gonna be a little closer to a, to a neck tag size. So about three inches, we suggest right around like two and a half. Uh, you don't really wanna go too big on a neck tag, on a neck um, tag, but we're gonna go 2.5. Leave it locked and loaded so it's gonna do the dimensions properly. So now we have our neck tags, we have our left chest tag, we got our big chest tag. And we're gonna just maximize, arrange these so that we can maximize our space best as possible. So we wanna just fill it in here, fill it in here, boom. And then now if, we, if these are all the images that we need, we can just highlight the whole thing, edit, copy, boom, edit, paste. So now we have a bunch of these images we can bring, whoop, bring down here. They're all gonna be connected. We can just kind of just continue to duplicate the space and, and now again, oh, make sure you always leave room for, uh, to cut as well. So we don't wanna do that too close to the black. We're gonna bring this down a little bit and maybe we wanna add another, maybe baby girl might want another one. So we're gonna copy this. We're gonna paste, bring this buddy down. Bring it down and this is a 10 by 10. Let's make, a, let's make a little one like a six by six, right? So a little one for a kid. We can actually do a couple of those. So one for Lou, could do another one for D, copy, paste, box. So the kiddos are locked and loaded. They got their shirts. I don't know what we're gonna do for mama. Maybe mama can rock this one or this one. Oh yeah, she's gonna rock the flash crystal transfers one for sure. So let's make her a bigger flash custom transfers one. So let's see if we have room to fit it. I think we might have enough room to fit a big flash custom transfers one for mama. I know that she doesn't like the black one. So we're gonna make a big one. We're gonna copy this one. And we're gonna paste it, boom. So we wanna make this one pretty big. Right now it's only a six by four. We're gonna make it a nine. And then whatever the bottom populates too, great. So that's a pretty big image, nine by six. To go on a nice shirt, she's a small woman. We're gonna hit the rotate tool because we wanna rotate this so that we can actually fit it on our sheet. And if we do it like that, bam, look at that guys. We are locked and loaded. And look at all the other room that we have. Oh, come on. Look at all the other room, let me click it, there we go. All the other room that we have, we can stick in some more little small tags. Let's move this one over here to the left a little bit. Get it a little closer around. This is where we got some cut room right there. So we still have a little bit of more room to add some more um, graphics, but again, you wanna make sure this is how it's gonna print, okay? So this is, again, I'm not utilizing all my space, but this is how you would create a gang sheet using a custom logo from us that we created or something that you have on your own. And also what's cool really quick, let me just show you before we end this video, on a vectored image, you're able to change the color. So the fill right here is red. If I wanted to change this to say black, oh, hold on, see, boom. Now we have a black straight out of content if I wanted to put it on white, right? I can change this to all different types of colors, orange, Boom, we can change it to orange, you know what I mean? We could really, actually this doesn't need to be filled in, this needs to be uh, just a stroke. So we're gonna go back to that, there we go. Oh, oh that's, let's undo that, Un unapply switch. We can zoom in just to this, we can ungroup. Uh, we're going to go to orange for that, and then we're gonna change the fill, boom. And then the fill should be white. 
Oh, let's zoom in because this is not working. Let's see. Let's zoom in to 200 and boom. Oh, okay. So here, this is what we need to change. Wham. And this one, wham. There we go. So we just need to just delete 25. Boom. Oh, you know what? Let's go back to this and do clear. Okay, there we go. So that's a little bit better. Uh, let's go, but yeah, 25. So you guys are able to see. And again, if you do change the color, just be conscious that some things might have to be changed because you are working with a vectored image. So just be conscious of that whenever you're changing, like I said, whenever you're changing different colors, but you're able to do that. So just know that whenever you are working with a vectored image, you are able to change. So now we have an orange one, a red one, um, and you can change these to all different types of colors if you're just work just play with AI That's what we suggest. So right now we have our gang sheet So what you're gonna do from here, you're gonna go over here to file and you're gonna hit export and then export as And you're gonna name it. So we're gonna name this uh, Stranger things. No, no, no uh, Yeah, stranger things Stranger things uh, inspired test gang sheet <laughs> and I like to put everything in downloads and we you always want to export it as a PNG okay so the next step you always want to do is 300 dpi and um, this right here needs to always say none you always want to make sure it says none and then the background color is always transparent a lot of people send us graphics that they don't check <clears throat> that they've downloaded and for an example, you see this flash in here, they will download an image on a white background, SVG and everything, but inside the letters, it'll be white. So they'll send it to us telling us to print it. We'll send back a screen uh, screenshot for the proof before we print it. And they'll say, yeah, go ahead and print it. They'll receive it and they'll see that it has white on the inside and be like, no, that's not what I wanted. It's just supposed to be just a red outline. Well, that's the image that you sent to us that you said was okay to do. So just make sure that you check your images whenever you're downloading these images from Etsy or from wherever you're getting them. Make sure that you check them and also give us great detail on how you want them. So now this buddy right here is done. We can actually open up this full gang sheet uh, right now. So if you just created this gang sheet on your end, you're done. Hey, listen, I need this printed today or fast, very fast, right? You just created it. You're so you're gonna email it to us. You can go to the website, order now at flashfitsandtransfers.com. And then you're gonna order however many of these you need. They're already laid out, the dimensions are already laid out. Doing this process is going to make your job, your project so much faster because we don't have to do anything. So you're gonna send this to us after you purchase however many sheets that you need off the website. And if you actually have some questions, you can email us at order now at flash custom transfers dot com email us your gang sheet that you created uh out of that png i mean that you created in ai and then just export it as a png you can send that to us and have us check it hey listen do me a favor go through this all the images on there are vectored or not vectored but they look really good can you please zoom in and check this before you guys print it no problem we have no problem doing that even if you go ahead and purchase on the website and you do that as well you go ahead, you purchase on the website, and then you email us your image. You're already done gang sheet. We will also do our due diligence and check every single image on here. Come in here and make sure that there's no pixelization and anything. So just make sure that you guys do all of those steps when ordering. So if, but if you don't know how to do that, um, or if you don't know how to uh, open, let me show you guys how to open an already done gang sheet, because this is what we are going to do on our end. So you completed this. When you email it to us, this is what we are going to do. We are going to come into our AI. We're going to hit File, New. We're going to hit Custom, and our, C our page is already set up. We're going to hit Create. So now we have a blank page, right? We're going to go to our email in which you just sent it to us, we're gonna download. I'm not gonna show you our email because there's personal information in there, but we're gonna go here, we're gonna go to file, we're gonna go to open. Now we're gonna open your gang sheet and your gang sheet should be in our documents. So it's right there, Stranger Things. Uh, nope, that's not it. It's gonna be a desktop, it's gonna be a, oh, would like to access, okay, that's fine. There it is, right there, it's on our desktop. So Stranger Things inspired gang sheet. So we're gonna hit open. 
Perfect. Oh man, this looks good. Let's see. Okay, so it came in as a PNG. As you notice, guys, we are not able to touch this. So let me just zoom out a little bit. It came in as a PNG. It looks correct. The dimensions look correct. Um, it is a little off by hair by the 22. So there is a little gap around it. Just to show you guys that. But this is how we are going to receive it. So even though you can barely see the lines because I just went to that, we can click right here and we can zoom in 300 because we're going to check this and we're going to say, okay, that looks good. That looks good right there. These lines are a little thin. Uh, right here. Okay, so this looks good. This is 300. This is zoomed in 300. So we're going to check all your images. Again, we can't do anything here. This is just a PNG. So we can't edit this. So we just have to let you guys know that, that this is how we receive it. And all we're gonna do from here is say, great. Uh, if we need to do any edits or if we zoom in and see that, hey, something is pixelated, we're gonna ask you for that image so that we can create a new gang sheet for you. But in the sense of you wanting to just go ahead and print this, say, hey, listen, guys, Shelly, Marianne, Carl, this thing is locked and loaded, ready to go. We're even going to ask you like, hey, you know, you have some space right here. Did you want to fill in anything else? We can add because we can add an image to this, right? We can go over here to file. I don't know. We already actually already have an image. So we can say, hey, you have uh, some room. Do you want to add another straight at a content image? So we're going to go right here and we're going to go boom, right? And then we can drop this down to a three. And then we can put it right here. So we could still add to your gang sheet uh, other images that you may have. Oh man, I forgot, I forgot to add. Oh, I got all that space. Let me, let me send you over this picture. We can definitely do that. Other companies don't really do that. The second you send them this, this sheet, they wanna go ahead and print it. That's, what, that's all that they wanna do. The, that's the difference between flash custom transfers and the competition. We want to maximize your space. Some people say don't, some people say do, but we don't wanna just get your image and then say, okay, it's ready for print. It'll be ready for print in this, in this much time. So guys, I hope that this video was really informative. I hope it wasn't too long. I just really wanted to just go through the steps of what it's like to create a gang sheet and how you can create a gang sheet on your end and then how, uh, how we receive it. So like I said, this, these images right here, this is the gang sheet that was sent to us that you guys created and we cannot touch the images. This image right here is a vectored image that we had from you that we were able to add to the gang sheet and then export and then have printed. So again, guys, please take your time to study all of these videos, get really familiar with this software. We also have an amazing video on Krita, which is a free software and you are able to do the exact same thing that you see here on there for free. 100% for free. So download it to your computer, check out that video and start creating these gang sheets and speed up the process of your prints. If you guys wanna flip the sheets, if you guys wanna create a full blown business out of our DTF transfers, you want to learn all of these steps that I just taught you and all the other steps that are also on our website so that you can maximize your profits and start to build gang sheets and not just gang sheets, but start to edit images and do all these other things to help speed up the process for us. Because whenever we get this, if it's locked and loaded to go, your image, your sheet is gonna get printed a lot faster than anybody else's who are having to edit the image, go through the image, put it on the sheet, ask what size, do all that other stuff. Make our job easier, make it easier for you, work with us so that we can speed up your process. That's gonna be it for this video, guys. Please hit that thumbs up button, please smash that thumbs up button because that really helps YouTube's algorithm send our videos to other people who are looking for this type of content. Again, you can use this a whole program just for yourself, even if you're not printing DTF sheets, you can still use it for yourself and really maximize your business and, and the things that you're able to add to your business and the services. Thank you guys. Remember, hit that like button and please subscribe if this video was of value to you. Be basic, peace.